All right, here we have, we have a wire that is 9.2 grams per centimeter, and then we're asked how many kilograms for 70 meters. The two pieces of information we need to convert here are from grams to kilograms, so 1,000 grams is one kilogram, that will get us from grams to kilograms, and then 100 centimeters per meter, because we have this rate in uh, centimeters uh, and the information in meters. So those are the, the connection. How to implement them, there's a couple different ways. What I would do is I'm gonna change this rate right here uh, into kilograms per meter. If I simply change this rate into kilograms per meter, um, all I need to do then is to multiply that rate by the 70 meters to find out how many kilograms. Uh, so let's do it that way. Um, the, this rate of 9.2 grams per centimeter, I would write as 9.2 grams over one centimeter. And then what I'm going to do is implement uh, these rates right here. Let's take care of the grams first. So I'm going to change from grams to kilograms. And so that rate, I'm going to put grams down here and kilograms up here. I have 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And so what that does for me is cancels out the grams and turns it into kilograms information. Then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... Uh, 100 centimeters in a meter, and I'm going to do that to change from centimeters to meters. Uh, in this case, now I'm a little further away, but the idea is I want to get rid of my centimeters. I put them up here so they're across and cancel, and my meter information right here. And then, and then as always, I don't get to choose what numbers go here. It comes directly from this. It's 100 meters and one centimeter. So I write that in uh, right here, uh, one meter and 100 centimeters. And again, what that does is cancels out this information of centimeters. Um, I'm left with kilograms in the numerator and meters in the denominator, which will make this uh, a kilograms per meter rate. Um, I'm just going to multiply straight across. I can do some more cross canceling. I'm going to do that first, actually, before I multiply across. Um, this is 100 and 1,000. I can divide out the factor of 100 here. So I get a 1 here, and uh, there's 10 hundreds in 1,000. Um, and now I'll multiply uh, straight across. So we see 9.2 times 1 times 1 is uh, 9.2 kilograms. Now it's my unit on top, and then the bottom I get a 10 uh, meters is my units. If I divide this, uh, what I would get is a 0 0.92 uh, kilograms per meter. The last step then, and again, just to say how I got that, is, is I divided those two uh, from each other to get that rate. Okay, so I call that like step number one. And then number two, now that I have it in kilograms per meter, I'm going to take this rate uh, for this copper wire that says 0 0.92 kilograms per meter. I'm going to multiply it uh, by 70 meters. And what I just, uh, in the ends, my meters cancel out here. Whatever uh, 0 0.92 in this case, or point is, uh, 0 0.92 times 70 equals 64.4. Uh, and kilograms is my units over just one. So let's just say 64.4 kilograms is uh, the weight of this wire. So just a real quick uh, refresh on what we did right there. Um, we had grams per centimeters, but we wanted to translate that into kilograms per meter because that was the information being requested and given. We do that with those rates. So we do, we're not going to deal with the 70 meters at all in this first one until we get to our new rate. Then we take our rate and we multiply it by the 70 meters. And you can always double check the meters do cancel, leaving us just with kilograms, meaning that our final information is in the units of kilograms. And in this case, it would be 64.4.